This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Thank you for watching. And of course, we are always ready to analyze the biggest sentiment stories. My name is Elsa Godwin, and I have my co anchors with me, Ife Obai and Ife Oluwashike. And I have a question <laughs> <laughs> Is yawning contagious? Yes. It is. So if you yawn right now, how would you yawn? But well, that didn't happen yesterday. We and should, it didn't we yawn on Joris. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't happen right now. Who did? Who yawned? She I did. did, I did. Then I, I was think waiting. That's what I was pointing at you. Attention, mm. or maybe when you just, I don't know. I've heard that if you don't yawn, it can... <laughs> as I'm about to repeat this, there is no that's going to come for me. Um, but I saw in this um, police technique, whatever, that they find psychopaths that way. Well, not really psychopaths. You my lack empathy if you are someone that doesn't See? ever That's touch yeah. Yeah. we are psychopaths <laughs> no you did you yawn yes i did so you're the psychopath and no, the one that was she was not she was not she was i, was, I she didn't know you guys yeah. but you no, i wasn't you watching yes, you but the right. fact that i heard the sound i yeah, it's it just got me okay so. baba you're not <laughs> <laughs> you're full of empathy <laughs> yeah very full of empathy man <laughs> Okay, cool. I guess that's another superstition. I don't know, but I don't know how true that is. Shall it's a myth. Yeah, but I've seen it's it happen. Okay. Actually, I've, no, I've yeah. seen it happen. That people don't catch you on. No, the people who actually catch you on. Yeah, so of I don't course. know. But yeah, it's all good. If you have caught you on, please. Is that what they call it? Yeah, let us know. Send us <laughs> your yawning experience via WhatsApp <laughs> to 0906005719. Now moving on to the main story. Idris Elba is set to um, set up an experimental fight school for young men and women that will be the focus of a new BBC documentary which aims to provide an outlet for young people from tough backgrounds with Idris um, signing up seven recruits who will learn boxing skills from former champions, as well as discipline, how to train, and life lessons. I like the fact that um, the people they're picking are from rough neighborhoods that mm. have had terrible upbringings and stuff. And um, there's a theory that getting, putting your emotions or your, um, how do I put it now, your anger into something else could help you with what you're dealing with. So I think there's a very like good Jimmy way. what Jimmy does to us here. Mm. Those with Jim, sorry, sorry. They don't say us. Yeah. Oh, I you know what I heard? Like what Jimmy does. Yeah, I heard Jimmy. Jimmy. What? <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> what does Jimmy? What does Jimmy do? What does Jimmy do? Jimmy, yeah, like Jimmy. Because <laughs> um, I know there was a time when I actually needed to get my mind right. I used to go running every yeah. morning, and I used to feel very good after run, or maybe even bothered about something or something. I figure that when I go running, I'm able to think clearer while doing it, and um. It's always better. So I think this is a good thing. It would uh, allow them to channel their anger towards something else. And maybe, just maybe, and I like the way he put it, that if they're open to being better. better. So mm. it's not like it's, it, 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 it's, it's, it's um, it casting happen. stone. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's just going to be... It's, it's interesting it's because I've never it. really felt the need to put anything into physical anything. Not even Jimmy, not running, not working out. Mm -hmm. so I wonder... I wonder what <laughs> is wrong with me, but um, I like. A million, yeah. <laughs> I wonder. Um, like you're channeling into other things. You just, yeah. Yeah, you just haven't figured out. Maybe music. Music, yeah. Yeah, I, was yeah. Gonna say that. yeah, I think music for me. Uh, but I like. I, I have to agree. I like what he is doing with young people. I like when people with influence, you know, try to be a direct part of the change process, if that makes sense. It's not just an impersonal donation or something. I feel like when time is given, you can really learn a lot more. Mm -hmm. Somebody that I know that I give credit for doing that a lot is Michelle Obama. Like she actually sits with these girls, talks to them. I think for a young person, interacting with such an influential person will be so um, um, long lasting for me, if, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's, a, um, I hope it brings positive change. It's something that they can carry along with them while they grow up. So we could have seen him. I feel like he's been also been in the news lately for a lot of good impact. Yeah, he has. Mm -hmm. In fact, from the... From seen a lot of good stuff. The, um, I think it was one who said the YouTube the COVID the music, thing, yeah. COVID thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lot, and then he yeah. did something else with uh, the BBC lady, the black... Mm -hmm. Um, CNN, uncle, CNN yeah. rather, yeah. CNN yeah, when yeah. Um, they were yeah. talking about the, I, rape and sexual like, abuse and like, Sierra Leone. Like, Leone. yes. Yeah. Yes, do well. Well done. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so Timmy Dakolo offers to take female fan on a date after <clears throat> showing her at an event. I like this because um, 
he could have kept milk. He wasn't the only celebrity that people shared their experience about on that platform. I think I know why he responded. Why? Because she was also matured in the way she shared the story. Yeah. Like she wasn't trying to... You Fashion. could feel the pain, mm. but there was a bit of understanding in the pain. And, and she, she, you could that tell it that... Better. I think both of them are really mature. You, could, you yeah. could actually tell that she wasn't lying about the experience. Mm. Yeah. She said that the way it, it happened. Do mm. you understand? And, so, and you could tell that Timmy... We live events, weddings. We know how he used to... Yeah, and you can tell that he was innocent. <laughs> like, he didn't say, I'm not in the mood. He didn't mm. say, he said, I'm not in the mood. And she's a stupid person. This, this, and that. And also, like, how she was... Was vulnerable like it embarrasses her and like it is very embarrassing when that happens in public and if i was afraid i would laugh i'm never going to lie so especially when i've told you don't go <laughs> but, um, don't go sit down and I says, no, sorry excuse me ah i would laugh so <laughs> um, um i can imagine that feeling and stuff i also like how she said but when we one day when she's also a bikini model then somebody people to be rushing her blah 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 it, i think she sells bikinis so she's right. hoping that her but, but, as big as yeah. i'm sorry as well. i know i'm i'm probably going to be talking about somebody that a lot of people hate right now but mm. somebody that um i almost had a similar incident with was born a boy so mm. i you met almost had or you had almost um oh. but i would explain why it's almost okay so when i met born a boy it wasn't even for a selfie this time it was mm. for an interview and it was like i'm running late but if you can work with me Okay. So we did the interview while it was working. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So we were working together and I was mm -hmm. doing the interview. And I felt that was amazing. You know, mm -hmm. somebody else would just shut it down and be like, I don't have that time. It was working really fast. The cameraman had to chase after him. I had to mm -hmm. chase. I think I saw I, that clip. Yeah. But it's so, not the same thing, if you know. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That, oh, that's why I said almost. Mm -hmm. Almost. But somebody else could have just shut it down. Like, I'm late. I can't do this, this right now. This is what happened to Misha. I guess maybe <laughs> why I knew that this industry was for me. Because I, I've never really, like, fan like crushed mm -hmm. over anyone yeah. even, those, even when i was younger that's i think i can't remember who the person was but i knew that this person i admired even and i was shocked I at my when i finally see you thank you i was actually I'm shocked at my my reaction with the person because when i saw that, i was just like <laughs> okay cool fireboy i don't i was younger i, I think it's somebody like no i don't think this is a, is a celebrity why did you do like, any fireboy younger, yesterday i just yeah i just looked <laughs> Okay. Was she supposed to jump on I don't know. For some reason, I've never been that Considering the fact that she say, likes Fireboy. Yeah, I, I do like love Fireboy. I, I do love Fireboy. Oh, my gosh. But I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here. Hi. I don't know. No, just, obviously, it's because um, you guys are celebrities. Even no, before, I think even when I was a kid, fam. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I've just never had that ginger to scream about someone i have a problem because even when you take me you to concerts problem. and stuff and i see the person i'm just like Ooh. <laughs> you almost think that why am i wasting money <laughs> the worst is um comedy comedy whatever so somebody standing on this i'm just like ah. i feel like it's when people are like me then celebrities will not really feel like yeah, so yeah. i'm happy that people are not like me yeah absolutely I'm happy that there are people is this who an genuinely... Aries thing uh, it could I be. Please, if you're an Aries, zero four. Yeah, give them the number. <laughs> wow, you don't know the number. If you're my, give them the number. Is that is zero four? Give them the number. No, give them the number. If you're zero nine zero zero. Ah, zero nine zero six thousand five seven. Yeah, zero nine six thousand nine. Yeah, I got it now. Yeah, we got it now. Zero nine. Okay, please. Two time will continue right after this short break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal eye. You. Mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from <laughs> Malawi. Like. <laughs> 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 Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Now, of course, Nigerian Twitter would always want to compare something with something or someone with someone. And this time around, um, the question is, is Bovi funnier than AY or is AY funnier than Bovi? Okay, so I'm not a big fan of both of them. Mm -hmm. So to start with, I think I may not be the best person right now because I went back to 
watch their jokes. Oh, right? really? Yeah, I went you back to watch though. it. Yeah, because I'm not a fan of both of them, so I really mm. can't say it off the top. So I right. had to go back to watch to and sure. compare mm. and contrast. And I think, in my opinion, Bovi has more relatable jokes, something that we can all relate to. AY has like a scripted kind of thing, like he, he knows exactly what he's coming to say. So which is why I understand. They all do. <laughs> which is why which is why I can understand when he's doing well in movies because um yes. He, so you didn't like his stand up? Um not like they were not funny. People um, people made it look on Twitter they made it look like AY was completely Did you dry. Laugh? Um, I didn't laugh, but okay. I giggled. At least mm. he made me smile. No. And Bobby, Bobby, too, they make me laugh either. How, did, how do you giggle? <laughs> so, um, giggle now. I don't know why. Um, they are, <laughs> what is wrong with you? I don't know why they're pulling them against, pitching them against each other. But um, Bobby, though, I, if you ask me, I would go with Bobby. Mm. You have said this since. I would go. Why were you like that? Scenario? I would go. No, I would go with Bobby. That's it. Yeah. Oh, well, I already confessed in the first story that I don't even laugh to stand up comedies. If I see a thousand skits, I laugh at two. So I'm, I'm, I'm terrible. I'm very terrible when it comes mm. to things like this. But I do remember when I was younger, I used to watch AY quite a lot. He used to, they used to do that. What's that show? It's at the end of the December, it, it, um, something irresistible, something. Crack my, crack my ribs. Crack my ribs. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It used to be on that. How did the irresistible crack, crack my ribs come to get? There was crack, this... crack your ribs. Crack. Crack. There's another one. <laughs> one thousand something laughter. Yeah, something like that. There's another eerie something. Night of a thousand laughs. Night of a thousand laughs. A thousand laughs, no. something. No. Anyway, for me, I don't think there is, they, they should be comparing good movie with um, a wife. Why? I personally don't think so. I think Bovi is very funny. Yeah? If you're going to compare a Bovi with a basket mouth, maybe I would yeah, say, okay, man on fire. That to is, be honest, I that think that is a comparison, a worthy comparison. But with AY, AY is just a businessman. Like, you mm. cannot take that away from mm -hmm. AY. Even if you think his joke is the deadest, if there's anyone like that, he would make money from that dead joke. Mm. And he would know how to spin it and ensure that there are brands on it. And his but I, would I, feel, I would like to have I, a sit I, down. I think now. that there are comedy styles are very different yeah mm -hmm. like what i was saying was that um watching him on stand-up on stand-up comedies i think he did really well with those ones but then um bovi did better with skit like mm. almost natural type of yeah, comedy that's the more like the style for me was very different um I think Bovi though makes a lot more effort in his style mm -hmm. than AY makes a lot more effort in his style, but they are very hard to compare. compare yeah. I but, think but, I'll compare him more with Basket Mouth. Who, who are you comparing Bovi? Yeah, but I mean Basket Bovi. Mouth is is um, we should I call him his mentor now? He actually. Yeah. Um, who remembers when how Bovi started? Do you remember how he started? Was it really no, one of remember. those I, 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 I suffered kind of? Was it one of those? <laughs> I, I, I know he practice? had his um, 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 grassy grass. Okay, so I, I met him. I said, Oh, I'd like to do celebrity stories with you and I'll share your downtime moments. And the brother told me that, oh my guy. Dab, I don't dab, dab. get one downtime. From no, I, say, I, no, I think he shared that story before, and according to how he likes to put it, he likes to say that grace has really worked for him, that he won't really compare his journey. With the journey of all the upcoming mm. um, comedians that had to go because Basket Mouth practically took him in and mm. gave him the mentorship he needed from what I've heard. So maybe that's where he's coming from. But I think everybody has their downtime and maybe he just did, wasn't no, I think Bobby was, like you said, Grace was on the side. He yeah. was just one of those so people that going to Genuinely speaking, not everybody suffers. Mm -hmm. I best mm -hmm. believe. Like, yeah. some people just work hard and it pays off and there's no sad story and mm -hmm. it's like normal, normal. Yeah. I said, okay, just Lock share. Well, I even gave him examples like... relationships as mm. well. So I even tell him, I said, maybe one time with the enter, he said, me, boss, I don't get car scenes. He was probably joking as well. He wasn't. Dude was serious. Uh, it's possible. Okay. Yeah, it's your blessing. <laughs> mm, oh. That's nice. Okay, moving on to the next story. The more we fight against rape and injustice, in the, is the more this evil we act is on the rise. Okay. Um, yeah. Protect your environment. Protect other people's kids. Don't say what's my own. So many people love to say that. Cut the penis off. Rapists are menace. That's coming from Halima Abubakar. She's mm. an Hollywood actress. Cut the penis. Mm. Yeah, cut the well, You've been agreeing to this thing. Yeah, he has. He actually has. Okay. I think if they, even if they say, if they say it, they need to put something really drastic so that 
you know, you have it at the back of your mind that there is a possibility that, i.e., my penis could be cut off, i.e., I could be, you know, let that, let that um, thing cross your mind. I would say, however, though, that the more we fight about it, I think we are making progress. But in Nigeria, for some reason, the change always starts with the elites and then trickles down slowly to the bottom. And I'm saying that even with, with rape culture. I think the elite and the educated are warming up slowly to the idea of, con of consent. You can ask girlfriends around you. All the traditions when we're younger, where boys just come and hug you from the back. It doesn't happen anymore. People are beginning to ask, can I hug you? Can I, I hug you? The person that's not your boyfriend will just come and hug you from the back. Yes, now people used to do that when they were younger as like romance or whatever. So I feel like that conversation... Actually, our friends are do that too. Uh -huh. So I, I think I think people are beginning to ask questions. People are beginning to even complain that, oh yeah, now I've agreed. Give, giving you green light. It's all over Twitter. People are saying, I, I, do I, have to, I, you must, I must hear you say yes before I even go closer. So I think there is change happening slowly. But it's tri before it trickles down, I don't think nothing, anything has happened in the grassroots. The rape um, number that was there last week is still happening today. Maybe, I don't know, maybe there's change I, that I'm not, I'm not seeing, but it's harder to get through those people than normal. But I think we're going to get there. And I agree with her. They are a menace. And yes, we do need a very um, extreme penalty. penalty to such an evil act because it shouldn't really be allowed in this country. Mm. Um, so I'm, I'm with her 100% on this okay, one. But if they are going to get to the point where they have to cut off the, you know, maybe they, they should keep them in prison for like 5 years or 5 to 10 years to be sure that the, it wasn't the false allegation <laughs> <laughs> before you now decide to cut it. Okay, I'm just saying. I get, I get where that uh -huh, is from. Yeah. yeah, that's true. But mm. cut the penis, though. Well, you want to? I want to say I'm cutting the act. Yes. Cut cut the the yeah, I'm cutting the act. Cutting yeah. the act. Cutting the act. Cutting the act. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, your semen one. is still, you know, DNA. Mm -hmm. Something. Cut the penis. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Oh. Hmm. Tea time continues right after this short break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Alibaba? Ali Baba. Right oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling alright. Still make music and people are still buying. That was how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Mm. music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from my love, we like. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping early. Sleeping early. <laughs> Many men think women are complicated. Make your woman happy, make her feel special as much as you can. Treat her right. Listen to her when you do, you'll be amazed at how much respect, honor, and submission you will get in return. And this is coming from Damilola Adibite. Mm. Well said, because um, when you see. Damilola with the hot body. Mm. Let me complete it. And the hot Such face a too. Babe. She's very ah! She's Such very a yeah, but make your points though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, obviously. A happy woman is a happy home. So when mm -hmm. you can make your woman happy, obviously, you're going to be happy as a man. But uh, I also want to put it for those women that are content. Because there are a lot of women that no matter how hard you try, they will still look for a way to compare their um, GLE 650 to somebody's Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> they will still look for a way to... They want more. In a, yeah, they want more. So mm. for women that are content right so um well said i agree i, I think i don't think it's that plain and simple that every woman just needs love and attention and then they'll be okay um a lot of the times a happy woman is a happy woman first of all by mm. herself mm. and then everything else you want to do on the on top of it is extra and dry and fizzy. so um but it's, it's good advice absolutely i think a lot of nigerian men can learn from her but i don't want it to look like that is the secret to every single woman mm. so. i like how you put it actually the part where you said um the happy woman is the happy woman first and i think this is where i remember some of the advices so relationship not just read online and everyone tell you you have to first of all find yourself 
love yourself, be happy within yourself before you find a way to attach yourself to someone mm. in the name of marriage, uh, you know, or maybe relationship or whatever it is. So I, I know a lot of people that are not comfortable with themselves or their existence first, but they just feel like being in a relationship is one of the things they have to do, one of the expectations of the society. Like if they don't have it, it means like their life is not working, it's not mm. enough. So maybe it's time to pause, think about yourself and um, do the right thing for yeah. yourself. Enjoy before, loneliness, uh, enjoy spending you know, time with yourself. Yeah. I think everybody needs to experience mm -hmm. that a bit. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and please do send your opinions via WhatsApp to 0906005719 or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Also, please um, catch up on all our exclusive content by visiting our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Olu Yes, sir. And the entire production team. Thank you for watching. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay safe. Thank you.